I don't really have a plan for this video, but something just told me to sit down and hit record and just talk. So that's what we're gonna do. Your environment is everything. What you consume is everything. That whole, that whole phrase of like what you eat is what you are, or I don't even know, what is the phrase? What is the phrase? It's, you are what you eat, that's what it is. You are what you eat is so applicable in every aspect of life, not just food. If you eat like crap, you're gonna feel like crap. If you eat less processed, less sugar, more natural foods, you're gonna feel much better. I also noticed you're gonna smell much better. Like, when I eat like crap, I stink. I, it's gross. And that's something I noticed recently because in the past like month, I haven't been eating as well as I normally do and what I really like to eat. And I have been stinky. I have been stinky and it's gross. <laughs> so if you don't want to be stinky anymore, just eat cleaner. You also are what you consume in every other aspect of your life. If you are reading really positive books and are delving time into yourself for self-care, it's gonna show, it's gonna reflect. You are gonna love yourself. And when you don't love yourself, you, it's obvious. I could, I could pick out individually each one of my friends, which ones really do truly love themselves and don't. And when a person really 100% loves themselves and is aligned with what they wanna do, you can see how much people dislike themselves from a mile away from a mile away. For example, and this is gonna be a funny example because they know I was gonna talk about it in a video. I went to the gym the other day and I shared some plans with an acquaintance in the gym who I've been friendly with for a while. And that person made a comment that I called them out on. They made a comment like, oh, like life's not gonna get any better. And I was like, now why would you say that? Why would you tell me that? Why would you say that to anybody? And then I made a joke about how I was gonna put it in a video but seriously, why would you say that? It kind of made me reflect, you know? Wow, like that was kind of, that was a projection. Like that, that was a projection of how that person feels about their own life. It made me kind of sad. They said that because that's the only thing they know. At least that's the way it came off to me. And listen, if you're watching this, it does get better because you can let it, you dictate how it's gonna be, your perspective. If you are solely focusing on the negatives, your entire life is just gonna be negative. If you tell yourself that you can't do something, you, you won't, you won't even try because you've already made that decision in your mind like, oh, I can't do it. That's not what it's, ugh. if people would just take a minute to reflect on how they speak to themselves, their world would, open up because they'd realize, you know what? That was mean. Like that was just so mean. Why would you be mean to yourself? You're the only person you have at the end of the day. Be your own best friend. It kills me. It kills me when I'm with a friend and they start hating on themselves. I'm like, why are you doing that? And I, I like to call it out on people. And listen, it's, it's not my job to make them love themselves, but I hope that I hope that I can get through to them. I hope I can. And I hope these videos get through to people as well. There's no reason why someone should be feeling so bummy. <laughs> it's interesting. You are what you eat. But I'm being serious. If you are watching shows that are strictly negative, that's all you're gonna see. That's all you're gonna think about. It's all you're gonna compare things to. If you're listening to music that is so sad and just down all the time, no wonder you're gonna feel down all the time. You're letting that dictate you, whether it's intentional or not intentional. You know, some days we just need to cry it out to a song, but not every day, not for months on end. I used to be exactly like that. I would tell my mom, <laughs> be like, mom, I just like sad music. It sounds better. I was so severely upset with myself as a child. I did not like myself at all. There's so many signs as to me not liking myself and claiming that I loved sad music because it sounds better 
was one of the first ones. Somewhere along the lines, the sad music went away and the dancey fun music came in. And I was like, man, it was that simple. I could make a subtle little switch like that and all of a sudden things started getting better. Amongst all the other things I was doing to improve my own self-confidence, my speaking skills, investing in myself, and just genuinely figuring out how to love myself, it is 100% possible to do a 180. It is. You just need to trust yourself and love yourself enough to be able to do it. Anyways, I think I wanna end it there. This was a mumble jumble today, but I hope something resonated with you because it definitely resonated with me. I will see you later.